everyone buckled up? Oh, yes. Yes. Ready for our road trip? Safety first, y'all. Let's go. Adventures. Good morning! And welcome back to another lovely day here in the Dominican Republic. We've traded in our car, our SUV, for a UTV, baby! Woo we got the delightfuls behind us. We're gonna, be, <laughs> we're gonna be doing a little road trip adventure today. I thought this shot was a good idea, but now I'm thinking it's probably a horrible idea. These things are very, very loud. So we're gonna pull over to our first stop and then let you guys know what we're gonna be getting into today. It's gonna be fun, I can promise you that. Parking brake fail. Oops, we <laughs> Remember got it, kids, we got there, always put on the parking brake. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in Las Terrenas, which is in that little peninsula, the same area where that treehouse village was that we took you guys to in one of our previous videos. Yeah, so we started in Samana, then we went out to Las Galeras, and now we have come back a little bit, still on the very north coast. Trevor and Anna have been hanging out in the Dominican Republic for a few months now, so they know all these awesome spots, like this one. Come on. How cool is this, you guys? Is this amazing yeah. or what? So there's just shallow water with all these trees and foliage in it that you can just wade through. We've seen a couple other people, but these pristine beaches have nobody at yeah, them. it's awesome. So today we are going to be driving all over the place, exploring a bunch of the beautiful beaches that are in the area, probably eating some delicious grub. But our goal today was to kind of show you guys what it's like driving here in the Dominican Republic, because I feel like a lot of foreigners probably think it's too dangerous or too crazy, or it's just not worth taking the risk to do it. So while it's true that there might be a few more obstacles than maybe you would be used to on the roads here it's actually a lot of fun to drive around yeah. and as long as you are careful and cautious and you know you really take in your surroundings it's totally doable and we highly recommend it so as you guys have seen we traded in our suv for this little utv so these mm -hmm. things are very very popular around the dominican republic especially in this area you're going to see them all over the road you're also going to see just like four-wheeler atvs mm -hmm. they have all sorts of fun vehicles and you don't have to go out on your own like we're doing you can do organized tours so that you can really get off road and see the sights but safely and with a guide. And eventually we're gonna trade this in and we are going to do a road trip down to Cabarete. So we're gonna show you guys what it's like driving in an SUV for a few hours on the roads here. We ended up going a little bit further to a more secluded beach that was just down the way. This is not a bad spot to come because for this little stretch at least, we've had it all to ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, we were here like a month and a half ago on a Saturday and there were maybe 20 people here. Yeah. But at the time, the water was really, really calm and basically like crystal clear. It's a little bit wavier today, yeah. but still beautiful. Even right now, you might see someone walking by, but I, I've counted like six people on this whole entire beach. Yeah, not too bad. All right, Mr. Trevor, are you ready to drive? Oh, am I ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. One thing you have to watch out for here in the Dominican Republic are the friggin' speed bumps, y'all. They are just everywhere. And some of them are huge, man. We've driven across the country now like quite a bit and we've hit some out of the blue. They're hard to see sometimes. No lines, they're not painted yellow. And once in a while there's a speed dip as well that you don't even see, so you uh. hit it like that. Oh yeah. And there are all kinds of different speed bumps. They have the small little kind of plastic ones. They have the ones that are actual asphalt that are huge. Those are the ones you really have to watch out for. And then they have these cute little ones that are just a bunch of little pucks. <laughs> and then there's fake ones as well. So oh, it looks like a speed bump, so you slow down. But yeah. it's nothing, it's just paint on the road. Just always keeping you on your toes here. <laughs> all right, onward. part of town now and as you can see the traffic gets a little bit more wild here <laughs> yeah, a little bit one of the things that's super unique though about Las Tiranas is you can rip around the town to these and ATVs there's not many places in the DR that you can do that yeah. it's awesome it's so much fun all right the only thing about driving around a UTV you can't worry about your hair because it just gets wild <laughs> y'all this is what we were on the lookout for this is a little empanada bike stand thingy <laughs> 
that have you guys eaten here before? You just no, no I found it. it on a map and it looks really good and has good reviews. So it's so cute on the front, like there's a motorbike literally attached to this stand. It's crazy. Yeah, and they have the cutest little hipster empanadas. We got our little empanadas, although these are unlike any empanadas I've ever seen in my yeah. entire life. They are so fancy and cute, but we sat down just in time for it to start raining again. Hopefully it's the last rain shower of the day. Y'all will not ever guess what is inside this little empanada here. It's got plum, queso, and bacon. <laughs> that was an Eric-sized pipe. Yeah, nice job. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Holy smokes. Well, that's amazing. But it's really nice, it's really like, spongy and the plum with the bacon and cheese is so good the sweet and the savory my favorite thing how are you rating it look at this one this is chicken oh my chicken wow, sounds really good. boring but it's actually maybe the most delicious that looks good it, it, look how soft <laughs> this is it's all like pillowy yeah. it's so good they're very this fun is to the eat. ricotta right this is the ricotta and spinach i love how they're all different shapes We have made it to Playa Bonita. And uh, this beach, is it usually this chill? Or is it more crowded? <laughs> We've been here once. Only and once, and we were further down in the opposite direction that we came in today, and it was pretty busy and yeah. full of surfers, but we haven't walked down that far, so up this way is super chill. Yeah, we feel like we have the whole thing to ourselves. There's a couple restaurants and stuff, so we found one. We're just chilling, having some drinks. Got it's very nice. Beer. We did try to order the local Presidentes, but there was none, so we got um, Dominican Republic Modelo <laughs> and a Dominican Republic Corona. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're looking to rent a UTV here, ours costs us 140 USD per day, or for 24 hours. Literally, you pick it up at 7 a.m., you drop it off at 7 a.m. the next day. We hear that you might be able to negotiate that, so give it a whirl if you're <laughs> feeling up to it. But basically, when you're on the road here, y'all, it's just a free-for-all. Everyone's just kind of doing their own thing. You have scooters with whole families riding on there. You have trucks filled with people in the back. <laughs> Not a lot of helmets and stuff. People uh, bobbing and weaving in the traffic, bikes, pedestrians, animals. And what's really funny is we just really haven't seen any wrecks at all, except for one little kind of fender bender between a car and a scooter. But I don't think there was any damage, but that's really all we've seen. Can yeah. you believe that? Although we did hear a story Apparently somebody's car was hit by a falling coconut. Somebody on Instagram that follows us, I guess on YouTube, told us a story. They sent us a message on Instagram telling us that they were on a long drive and a coconut actually fell, hit their car and like full on damaged it. So they had to stop and get it repaired right then. But there is a service here that if you're driving around, they'll stop and help you get back on the road because yeah, it's like I think- a government service, Yeah, right? government service yeah. because people apparently break down a lot here and then you want to get them back on their way. So if you break down and you don't know what to do, just chill. Maybe uh, have a coconut and somebody will come along to help you. Look what I found. Beach dog. <laughs> and maybe the cutest one so far. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> You want more? You want more? Can I take this dog with me somehow? <laughs> take this dog in the RV. When you need to fill up, it really doesn't get much easier. You pull into the gas station, this kind gentleman does all the work for you. So you just pull up, tell them how much you want, and then they fill her up.
this is the real reason why we think it's worth driving here in the Dominican. Because you can just go anywhere you want and make stops like this. And just really take in all the natural beauty. And there's no shortage of it. Oh, no. <laughs> there is uh, miles and miles and miles of natural beauty, y'all. We'll pinpoint it on the map and in the description below so you guys can come check it out. But, man, you get an epic view of the beach, the water, Las Terenas over there. Hola. Not bad at all. And so many palm trees. Yeah. Just never-ending palm trees. We have begun the drive. We are heading from Las Terenas over to Cabarete, which is about three hours or so drive. Should be incredibly lovely. You guys have made this drive before. They assure us that it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. I yeah. feel like we know the route by now, so yeah. we don't even need the maps. <laughs> well, I believe them. We're only about 10 minutes in, and already it's amazing. And as you can see, we are back in our uh, red Kia. What is this? Sportage. Sportage. I think it's Sportage. Sportage. Yeah. yeah, Kia Sportage. Sportage. That's what we used to drive. <laughs> Do you say Sportage or Sportage? I don't know. Oh. It's a oh. Kia Sportage. Well, okay. that was the first car I ever had when I turned 16. It was a Kia Sportage. Sportage. And it had a Velcroed on back yeah. to it. So renting a car is uh, pretty expensive here in the Dominican. Um, I don't even know how much this one was because you guys rented it. I think it was something like 90-ish a day. The other thing is it depends on the time of year you're here. Yeah. So if this is high season, mm -hmm. it's a lot more. Yeah. yeah. We were here in low season and it's a lot less. Yeah. yeah. And of course, if you get a car versus an SUV, which we do recommend the SUV, I think we've yeah. already said that, yeah. but that's the way to go. <laughs> Just give yourself a little more clearance because uh, like we said, those potholes and the uh, <laughs> speed bumps, they get a little rough. Oh yeah. So another thing we always do is we buy full insurance. So make sure you're doing that if you're coming to the Dominican Republic. We've heard some kind of horror stories. If you don't, uh, some companies have a deductible of about $2,500 to $3,000 if you don't get full insurance. I think I've right? even heard of some that are like $5,000 deductible, which is just yeah. crazy. Yeah. Speaking of SUVs, we actually came directly from Mexico to here and we noticed immediately that the cars are just bigger. There are tons of SUVs on the road, but there are also very, very small vehicles on the road. <laughs> so we see tuk-tuks driving around, of course, so many scooters, an uncountable amount of scooters. Then you have small trucks, large trucks, basically you just have to watch out for anything and everything. You'll even see a bunch of guys just on horses riding along the road, right yep. in the middle of the road. At one point, a dog was just running in the road, running, we couldn't even keep up with him. He was running faster than we were driving. <laughs> I tried my best, I did my foot on the gas and that thing, and I couldn't keep up. Yeah. Another thing you have to watch out for is bikes parked on the side of the road. Sometimes they won't even be on the side of the road, they'll be kind of close to the middle of the road, yep. and they might just be sitting there because the person's running into a shop or something, but they're also sometimes working on the bike, Which fixing it. Which is just terrifying to me. Just living on the edge, I guess, right? One to feel alive while you, you work on your rig. <laughs> And I guess red lights are more of a suggestion than anything because uh, <laughs> according to these guys, this hasn't happened to us yet, but if you're in the front of a pack of cars and you're at a red light and you're stopped, sometimes they'll honk and be like, why are you stopping? Yeah. Go. A lot of the motorbikes will just kind of go by and you'll, if you're in the front, a lot of horns will be on telling you most times to go. It's kind of confusing. We just kind of roll with it. Do you guys run through the red lights? Uh, we may not very uh, Maybe a few times, maybe, but most of the time. Uh, maybe once, yeah. just don't tell anyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But anyways, we're going to wrap this scene up because we are getting into some epic scenery. Well, we officially made it to Cabarete. Easy peasy, I'd say. <laughs> uh, spoiler, it is beautiful here. Another spoiler, we found the most amazing coffee shop that we will be showing off in an upcoming video. Yeah, these guys showed it to us. Yep. But we hope that driving you around the Dominican Republic, you learn to maybe not be so scared about driving here. And you learn, <laughs> yeah, kind of the ins and outs and got a feel for what it's like. It's really, it's a lot of fun. The drives are absolutely beautiful. Just as, you, as we've said a billion times, just pay attention, you'll be golden. But we have tons more fun adventures coming from beautiful sunny Cabarete. You'll see their beautiful sunny faces a few more times. And now I'm gonna eat my bowl. Goodbye, adventures. See you on the road. Oh, all right, and thing. Ah. <laughs> eat it.